why are we in Washington, D.C.? We are in Washington, D.C. because a childhood friend, somebody I went to elementary school, junior high, and high school with, reached out and they were like, you're doing something crazy, we're doing something crazy. What about coming in house sitting, pet sitting, and gathering content in D.C.? Why are we filming a video right here, Terry? <laughs> I'm ready. It's, it's for you. I'm home. I'm home. We made it! This is a really cool interior, as you can see up here. We are at the Reagan Airport, DCA, I think. Um, that was the flight. Uh, it felt a little bit long, but I'm trying not to think about that because when we fly to Munich in a month, um, that's gonna be even longer. Yes, that will be longer. I watched two movies and cried in both of them. One of them was If, and the other one was Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I don't remember anything about that book, but I cried in both of them. You? I didn't cry in If, but something happened to the air in the, in the plane. Well, I think Anne's waiting for us at the curb, so we should probably get going so we can go meet the, uh, the dog and the cat that we are going to be sitting and uh, meet up with a child friend of mine. Okay, we're in D.C. How are you feeling about our little adventure here? I'm only concerned that I don't have enough time to edit video. Because this place is going to be so much fun and I'm going to want to go do more stuff. And then I'm going to be up until midnight and 1 a.m. like we were in Europe making videos. We survived. Speak for yourself. <laughs> There's... We are staying in the Shaw Logan Circle area which is so cool today is uh, day one we're off to take the metro the Taking blue the metro. line and the green line for a capital tour and then we're going to hit the botanic gardens and then see what else we have to explore when we're down in the area i'm a weirdo but i just get so excited when mass transit works so well <laughs> we missed our first train but you know what four minutes later four minutes later there was another train and then we had to change trains and we, we waited, waited two minutes two minutes three minutes in between trains mm. here we are at the capitol building we met up with some folks who work for our representative kevin mullen and they were super super nice and helpful and Michael even walked us through the tunnels and past all sorts of amazing art by high school students in order to get us here. Right, and you have to have somebody who's on the inside to get you through that. So the tip is contact your local assembly person, again ours is Kevin Mullen, and they will set you up. There's way too here. many people There's here. I'm getting here. out the grass vibes. We just uh, did the tour of the Capitol, and uh, it started with a 10 or 15 minute movie. One would maybe call it propaganda for the U.S. Uh, government and how Congress and is supposed to work. Um, they, they didn't highlight how the uh, system kind of worked on January 6th, but you know, maybe could have been included. Maybe that's the next edition. It, I actually really liked it because it was hopeful and inspiring and it's, it's idealistic. I really wonder if under Trump what, um, what, it, what, what it was like then because this felt like democracy is actually democracy. Right. 
And uh, they also have a little museum or exhibition hall, basically the uh, ABC after school special of how a bill becomes a law. <laughs> so that was good. Yeah, and then we had to turn in all of our electronics, our watches and everything in order to be able to go in the galleries for the House and for the Senate. And I'm so glad, Zeke, that you went ahead and you got us passes because other people had to like wait uh, when we dumped all of our electronics. Well, I have to, again, compliment the Mullins office because they offered them up without me even knowing that I needed them. So uh, your local assembly person is the place to get those as well. And along with how a bill becomes a law, there's also how a YouTube channel survives. And that means <laughs> that you need to be a subscriber. Thank you, we appreciate it. <laughs>it wasn't very good but do you feel better I do feel better food is always good so after we left the Capitol building and we went looking for the food trucks the closest place with the cafe actually was the Museum of the uh, National Museum of the American Indian which is where we're at right now and we have a major dilemma because we want to get to the US Botanical Gardens which is high on our list if you've watched any of our videos you know that we now go to botanical gardens everywhere that we go but we're also in this beautiful museum, this amazing structure. The other reason why we didn't go to the food truck that was just outside is the cafe here was recommended by a neighbor and it was better, it looked better than the, the I would have Capitol been building. Oh yeah, it looked better than the Capitol building, but I think the food truck outside would have been better. So, Who I don't knows? know. But one of the things that I wanted to ask you, Zeke, so we just went through the, we did the Capitol tour and we went into the Senate and the House galleries. This is our first time in DC doing that kind of a thing. So mm -hmm. what, how, what were your thoughts on that experience? My thoughts on it are that in the last eight years, I've become much more aware and conscious and understand uh, how all that works. And so thus, you know, it's the how a bill becomes a law, which maybe some folks don't quite understand. And so it was good to see, but... Uh, it was kind of like, in the galleries, it's kind of like National Lampoons. You get to the Grand Canyon and you go, okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, so. there's nothing going on on the floor other than some construction in the Senate offices. And they don't let us take our cameras in. And you know, now my life is revolving around my camera. So I can't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have anything to do if I don't have my cam camera in my hand. So the thing that's interesting, having been through that and knowing there are a bunch of museums and there's the Botanical Garden, and while the monuments look kind of interesting, I'm less interested in all of that than exploring the depths of the various different museums. I think because I've become a lot more attuned to the politics and it's been a really, really, really tough year, tough time since the 2016 election, I'm somewhat, I don't know, cynical or jaded about the whole experience and seeing Speaker Mike Johnson's door, I just, I wanted to throw up. So the thing that I'm truly grateful for right now is our weather is fantastic. And I said to one of the Capitol Police officers, I'm like, thank you so much for ordering the beautiful blue sky with the Pixar quality uh, clouds out there to take some amazing photos and video that we're planning on sharing with you as we go through our nation's capital, which once again, I have very mixed feelings about. Right. So let's go, let's go see some plants and trees and commune with nature. I think that might make me feel a little bit better.
The U.S. Botanical Garden is probably the smallest of the botanical gardens we've visited so far, as well as the least feeling of escape from reality. Yeah, we're surrounded by Independence Avenue and I don't know what the other street is. Um, and so you hear the traffic noise. There was a food truck playing for a lease. The no, first, no, just the first. The first five seconds of it over and over, over. and over again. And over. Um, so that kind of distracted the piece. We walked through the mid-Atlantic section and the conservatory, which we can see straight away. And then we went into the other outdoor area that's wide across the street with this gorgeous fountain. And it's beautiful. This is truly, truly beautiful, but it's not very big. And Zeke, I had a question for you because when we were walking across the street, both of us were kind of in low, <laughs> in kind of a, a low point. And, you know, obviously it's it's day one. We're trying to figure out what the mood is for this particular trip. Um, bow, chicka, bow, bow. <laughs> That's the mood I'm feeling. So DC was uh, not a place that was on our radar until we got asked to house it and pet sit, which is a really, really fun idea and an opportunity. And I don't regret having done this. At the same time, it makes it so that this wasn't really high on our list of things to do. So I'm struggling to reconcile, like how to approach this whole entire trip and what what's going to be important about it as we navigate through the days. Are you? feeling any of that like I am? Mm, I think what I'm feeling is I'm going, oh, well, comparison to Van Dusen or comparison to Denver or comparison to San Francisco, because all of this is so fresh in the last six months or whatever it is. Three been, months, actually. Yeah, that we've been doing this. It's like, oh, well, this is, you know, it's all the plants here are very nice. It's well done. It's well maintained. It's probably better maintained than San Francisco, I'd say. Well, San Francisco is a lot more wild. This is a lot more manicured. Right. So, you know, okay, great. But again, road noise, horns. So you're comparing, so I'm actually looking at the entire day, not just the garden. So we, mm. because we, we did the Capitol and then we walked along and we right. went into the uh, American Indian Museum just for food. Uh, and I'm looking at all of this going, okay, how do I want to approach the next couple of days? What's, or the next week? I don't feel like doing a ton of government buildings and going, we have the White House tour scheduled. I saw uh, the National DMV is right over there. Oh, great. And there is no <laughs> National DMV, dipshit. So, well, no, no. You, and, you and I are obviously not struggling with the same thing today. Mm, no, I don't think so. No, but I'll agree with you. I don't think I need to do a bunch of government buildings either. Um, at the same time, I don't need to do a bunch of museums either. And that's why I was excited to come over here to this park because I enjoy getting out and walking around in the plants and such. And we did see a squirrel. A squirrel. You're annoying. But we're waning. Our energy is waning. So I think we'll wrap this up, take the metro, and head on back because we do have dinner plans with one of um, our son's friends, who's kind of my friend, even though she's uh, 23. And we're looking forward to having some Ethiopian tonight for dinner because there's a huge Ethiopian population here in Washington, D.C. So when you're house sitting animals, you have to get animal cooperation to make videos. And this cat seems to be doing marginally well. So this is Toby. We just had a fantastic dinner with our son Adam's friend, Emma, who lives here in Washington, DC. She went to American University and stayed much to the chagrin of her parents. Um, but it just was super fun. It's super fun to be friends with our kids' friends and then be able to see them um, grow into these responsible adults that we're, that we're seeing. And we went to a, a really great Ethiopian restaurant called Family Ethiopian. That's just down the street from us in the Shaw area of Washington, DC. And uh, I think we're gonna give over Saturday to Emma to say, hey, show us DC. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. You're a little nervous about that, aren't you? No, not really. I'm excited. Uh, there's the potential is there to go to Alexandria, Virginia, and, and, take, have, a, and take a water taxi, and another water taxi. We're theming ourselves here, uh, and then also a couple of little places. So we'll have to see how that works out. Tomorrow we are gonna work on the video for Friday, and oh, we're gonna take the dog for a walk and go get some coffee at one of the local places that Ann and Pat have raved about. So we'll report back on that as well.
as we're walking back from a coffee at one of our friends' uh, favorite places and a whole wheat croissant, which was really tasty. We are really digging this neighborhood. It's a neighborhood with restaurants and shops and high rises, and it's not a mixed use city like we see in San Francisco. It's more like Paris or it's more like Rome. It feels really good. Yeah, it's sort of a small neighborhood in a larger city. There is mass transit, like two blocks from where we're staying. You jump on that and it zooms you downtown and it's efficient. Uh, and it's a great, com a great compromise between small town feel, but access to big town uh, resources. Yeah. Part of our other local experience, going to the grocery store, uh, getting some food so we can eat in as well as eat out. We have to balance everything out. Um, but they said this uh, giant is just like Safeway? Is that what no, Emma said it was just like Safeway. Yeah, so we're gonna go have our local shopping, grocery shopping experience. And Emma was not wrong. The giant is like a Safeway, but it's giant. Doesn't look like it from the outside, but. It looks cute and boutique from the outside and you go inside and it keeps going on and on and on and on. So now to make some lunch at home and get back to work. How's the video coming, Zeke? It's coming. <laughs> it's always an adventure. Cinematography school, I missed that day in the police academy. Well, let me just tell you, social media and <laughs> content creation, etc. Was it in your MBA from 1996? <laughs> <laughs> I graduated in 1997, thank you very much. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, that was <laughs> the dot-com boom. the end of day two and it was a work day. We got out to go to the grocery store and we got out to go get uh, some coffee and a whole wheat croissant, which was uh, delicious. Combination of fast travel, slow travel. Yeah, yeah. well, and you like the slower travel and I'm chopping at the bit to get back <laughs> out to do stuff uh, tomorrow. Sometimes that bit is my neck. <laughs> we just had dinner at one of the local places that Ann and Pat recommended. And once again, it is so nice just to be able to walk three blocks, six blocks, and just have so many restaurants available and so much here. It's it's super fun. And look at this amazing mural behind yeah. us. It's actually not too different from Hoboken. Okay. So, which is interesting. But now we are going to wrap up our day after we wrap up the video. So that could be a couple of hours from now and uh, get ready to go check out the African American Museum and the Renwick Museum. Well, that's the plan so far. And uh, we'll do breakfast and lunch at home and then we'll be out for dinner and then back to take care of the fur babies. There you go. So here we go.